Thank you. Hey, how was your weekend? It was good. So tired. Tired. A lot of work. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, let us start with today's class. Um, I hope you were working on the platform. Eh, están siempre trabajando en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Recuerden que para esta semana debemos completar hasta el middle, the middle term, o sea, el examen de medio periodo. Okay. Today we're going to start section three. Okay. Which is about jobs. Okay, remember if you have trouble with some exercises from the platform, we can check the exercise here. Well. We will do it, but uh, if you need help, so you can ask. Okay, section three, um, the name is, what do you do? Okay, what do you do? And we have vocabulary related with jobs. Okay, we have jobs. So we have cashier, cook or chef, a doctor, a flight attendant, a judge, a lawyer, a musician, a nurse, pilot, a police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, or waitress. Okay, now let's check the pictures and you're going to tell me what is the name of the job or profession. Okay, we have number one, which is receptions. Okay, receptions. Okay, number two is a H. Um, no, no, no. S S C C C C C doctor. Okay, doctor. Doctor. Okay. Correct. Okay, number three. Nurse. A nurse. Nurse. A nurse. Correct. Number no. four. Pilot. Pilot. A pilot. Okay. Pilot. pilot. Number five. Fly attendant. Fly attendant. Fly attendant. Flight attendant. Fly attendant. Okay. Number six. Musician. 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 Yes. Musician. Number seven. Singer. 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 A singer. Correct. A singer. Number eight. Judge. 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 
Like yeah. um, oh, judge. Judge. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, number nine. Police officer. Police. Police officer. Police officer. Officer. Yes, porque si yo digo police office, is the place. Es la estación de policía, the police office. Pero police officer is the person. Okay? Number 10. A lawyer. 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 Okay, lawyer. lawyer. Yes. 11. Is a cook or chef? Cook chef. or chef, correct. Cook chef. or chef. Number 12. 12? Waiter. 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 Yes. Waiter. Waiter. 13. Waiter. Waitress. Waitress. Waitress, correct. Waitress. Waitress. 14. Soy person. Salesperson. Sales, correct. Salesperson. Person. Salesperson. Salesperson. Number 15. Cashier. 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 Okay. Cashier. Cashier. And 16. Security. Security. Security guard. Security guard. Security guard. Security guard. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, what about you? What What do you do? Okay. Like the question. What do you do? Do you have a job from the vocabulary words that we have here. Are you a lawyer? Are you a receptionist? Are you a salesperson? Okay, what do you do? I do masonry. You are a? Masonry. Masonry. Yes. Yes, okay. I do. Okay. So you work in a what place? Every day. I work every day. But in what place? Oh. I don't know how saying I don't have a place. I work. In the, the house, you know? Ah, okay, okay. Okay, Alvaro, what about you? What do you do? Uh, uh, I'm working in a factory. In a factory, okay. Yeah. Okay. Volunteers. What do you do for a living? No volunteers. Hi. Okay. Mm, I am a fire inspector. A fire inspector. I work at the, I work at the fire station in the city of Chalotenango. Okay, great. That's interesting, Mario. Okay, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Okay, a fire inspector. Yes, Karen. Okay, I am a doctor in the hospital. Okay, excellent. You are a doctor and you work in a hospital. Okay, in in what place? Here in San Salvador or 
Yes, in San Salvador. In San Salvador. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Okay, another volunteer. What do you do? That's the question. What do you do? And we also have other jobs that are not included in here, but we can learn more vocabulary. Okay, so let's continue. We have the jobs and we have then the places or the workplace. Okay, so each the place, uh, where you go day by day to do whatever you do, okay? To, to work, to do your activities and all your responsibilities. And here we have uh, four workplaces. We have a hospital, an office, a store, and a hotel. Okay, we are going to um, complete the chart with this information from here or these jobs that we already learned. So in a hospital, we have doctor, nurse, no. and no. what else we can include? Who else works in a hospital? A receptionist. A receptionist, correct. A receptionist works in a hospital. What about an office? An office. Who works in an office? Security. Ah? Security. A security word. Yeah. Okay, could be, could be in an office. Yet yeah, some offices have a security word. Okay. Who else? Who else work or works in a hotel? A receptionist. A receptionist, correct. A receptionist. Who else? Lawyers. A lawyer, correct. A lawyer. And I think we have one more. A judge. A judge, yes. A judge. Okay. What about in a store? Who works in a store? Cashier. Cashier. Which one? Sales person. Sales person. Okay. Security word. Yes. Security word. Pero de los que están aquí. Okay. Who else works in a uh, uh, store? No more. Security word. A security word, okay. And a salesperson, yes. And the last one is in a hotel, okay. Who works in a hotel? Receptionist. A receptionist, okay. Waitress. A waitress, muy bien. Security guard. Security word. Chef. A waiter. chef, a waiter, correct. And I think we have one, one or two more. It's not very common, but in some places, yes. A cashier is two. A cashier, okay. A musician, a musician in a singer in some restaurants or hotels they have bars in, inside the hotel 
and in some of them they offer um a live a live a music. karaoke uh -huh. or a karaoke yes correct okay so that's our some places okay and we have some jobs for each workplace okay then we have the conversation he works in a hotel yes alba yes alba no i'm sorry teacher fue por la al inicio que le que preguntó de what do you do ah, so que la mano. okay okay uh -huh. so tell us what do you do no es que le quería consultar que en mi caso que soy es trabajo de facilitador administrativo cómo se diría en inglés mm, depending Administrativo sería de business administration, administración de empresas relacionado a eso. Pero sería el, el área en la que yo soy es facilitador. ¿Cómo se dice facilitador? Aquí? Uh, facilitator. Administrativo. Fa ajá. Yes, facilitator in business administration. Facilitator. Yes. Today we have a lot of new positions, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's listen to the conversation. Mm. Now we have one exercise. Okay, yes. Okay, look at the picture and answer correctly. Ah, that's the, the same, right? This already, it's already done for us. Okay, what's his job? Mm. Ah, pero vamos a usar the pronouns, pronouns. Yes, usando pronouns. Isa? Is pilot. 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 Okay. Number five. She's fly attendant. She's a fly attendant. She's a fly attendant. Okay. Number six. He is a musician. He's a musician. Musician. Okay. He's a musician. Number seven. The singer. The singer. She's a singer. Okay. Number eight. She's a who? Okay. Who is a judge? George. George. Who is a judge? She is a judge. George. George Pelican. Okay, number nine. He's a police officer. Okay. He's a police officer in number 10 is a, a lawyer he's a lawyer okay he's a lawyer 11 he is a he's chef a cook he's okay. a cook he's a cook 
or he's a chef. Twelve. He's a waiter. He's a waiter. He's a waiter. Waiter. Number thirteen. She's a waitress. She is a waitress. Okay. Yes. She's a waitress. Five. No, fourteen. He's a sales person. Sales. He's a sales person. Sales. Fifteen. He is a cashier. He is a cashier. Okay. Escucha la... Se mo, bueno, en la... Creo que en el módulo 1 vieron lo de la sílaba tónica. Donde que en inglés no hay tildes, pero sí hay siempre una sílaba que lleva la mayor fuerza de voz. Sí lo vieron eso, ¿verdad? Remember. Entonces, tiene que ser... Eh, es importante porque es parte de la pronunciación en donde usted va a hacer la mayor fuerza de voz en una palabra. Okay. No es lo mismo que yo diga eh, cashier a que yo diga cashier. Entonces, eh, debemos de tratar de recordar cómo, cómo es la pronunciación de esa palabra, porque a veces puede variar eh, en significado. Si yo eh, tengo palabras muy similares, por ejemplo, y solamente varían en la, en, en la entonación de la palabra. Entonces, remember, this is cashier. Entonces, la entonación o la fuerza de voz va en la última, en la última sílaba, ¿ok? Cashier, cashier. So, what's her job? Yes? Cashier. Cashier. She is a cashier, correct. She is a cashier. Okay. Sixteen. She is a security guard. She is a security guard. Security guard. Sí, correct. No me le cambie. She. Okay, she is a security guard. Okay. Uh, okay, here are the answers and now we can continue. Okay. Davies. <laughs> A ver, Davies. Probably the apostrophe. No será el apostrophe, Davies. Sí, sí, ya, ya la ah, ok, ok. Yes, remember now the attendance is automatic. It's from Zoom. Ok, then we have the reduction of do and does. Ok, remember when we are going to use these auxiliaries, do and does. ¿Cuándo los íbamos a utilizar? Ya lo vimos. Does, el plural. Are you sure? Seguro. 
No, todas lo ocupamos As. con los pronombres he, mm. she y he. Ok, pero, pero ¿cuándo íbamos a usar? ¿Íbamos a usarlos? ¿En qué tipo de oraciones? Ok. ¿Qué cosas están haciendo? En in questions, ok. Las vimos, vimos algunos ejemplos. In questions, como decía ahí su compañera, in just no questions. Por ejemplo, do you have a boyfriend? Ok, it's a just no question. And we use the auxiliary. Or, por acá tenemos también, eh, in a double H question. Ok, where do you work? Where does he work? Ok, y let's see the reduction. So we are going to join two sounds. Ok, vamos. Well, let's watch the video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to ask and simple or omit many different words. This is the reason why you may not understand the program on TV, even though you understand the script or dialogue and writing. This is a big pronunciation topic. However, in this class, we will talk about the reduction of do and does. Pronunciation. Reduction of do and does. Listen and practice. Notice the reduction of do and does. Where do you work? What do you do? Where does he work? What does he do? Where do they work? What do they do? If we analyze the first example, where do you work? Okay, so here we have, we are going to join the last sound with the first sound or the next word. Okay, so where do you work? Iba a ir, eh, digamos cuando va a ir como de corrido o se va a pronunciar como que si fuera una sola palabra, como que si fuera la misma palabra. Entonces, por eso explicaba él en el video que algunas, algunas palabras o frases se nos dificulta entenderlas porque ellos hacen la pronunciación como junta o de corrida. Entonces, nosotros por lo mismo que estamos aprendiendo, vamos como leyendo o repitiendo o diciendo word by word, but they do it because it's their natural language, como es su, su eh, lengua materna, obviamente, they do it faster, and they do this, uh, this is like very common, esto lo hacen no solamente con el do y el das, sino que lo hacen con varias palabras. Um, ok, so uh, let's practice. Let's practice the pronunciation. Ok, where do you work? Ok, faster. Where do you work? What do you do? What do you do? Okay. Where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Does he work? Okay, remember to link. Does he? Como que fuera una sola. Does he? Does Where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Work. Where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Okay, no, no hagan pausa en después del does. Does he? Does he? Como una sola, de corrido. 
Where, where does, does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where does he work? Okay. Where does he work? Okay, excellent. Como que estaba el lenguaje What does he do? 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 Okay, ya vamos a la otra. What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? What does he do? Okay. Where do they work? Where do they work? Where do they work? Where do they work? Where do you they work? Where do they work? Where do they work? Where do they work? Where do they work? Okay, and the last one. What do they do? 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 No, what do they do? 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 Okay. Okay. Ok, you can continue practicing, ok, y como les digo, it's not only with do and does, ok, they do with a lot of works, a lot of words, ok. Then we have, ok, simple present question with double H. Okay, he works in a hotel, the conversation, right? Mm. Hi, everyone. In this call, too, he's a front desk agent for work setting. I would like to get started by listening to the conversation title, He Works in a Hotel. Let's listen and practice. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel, too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The Plaza. That's funny. My brother works there, too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Now, let's try to understand how to form simple present. Okay. So we have here this conversation. And did you listen how eh, they join the sounds. Lograron escuchar a dónde eh, hicieron las uniones. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. So now let's practice. Okay, two volunteers. Okay, Jose, Ovidio, and Karen. Okay, ahí está. Yes. Okay. Okay. Where does yeah, your yes. brother me? I. <laughs> yes. Okay. Ovidio first, <laughs> and then Karen. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh really? My brother work in a hotel too. He's from this hands. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plus. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? 
actually he is the manager. Okay, thank you. Okay, remember hotel. Okay, la, la fuerza va en la última. Hotel. Front desk agent. Okay, that's that it's a particular job in a hotel. Okay, when you arrive to the hotel in the front desk, okay, there is a person who is the agent and he asks you about your reservation. Uh, he gives you the key of your room, okay, like the general information. Okay, so that's a front desk agent. And um, interesting, okay, this one, interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, Araceli and Eric. Yes. 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 Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel. To his front desk agent. How does he like it? Not every much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plus place. The plaza. Uh, the plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he is the manager. Okay, same words, agent, agent, and interesting. Okay, thank you, Araceli and Eric. Okay, now Davis and Alba. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a in a hotel too. It's a front desk. That's again. How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plus. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? So, Ali, he's the manager. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Wait, para que recuerden the pronunciation. Interesting. Ahí va la mayor fuerza de voz. Hotel. En la última. In a hotel. Agent, agent. Okay, I think. Okay, and we have Allison, and we need another volunteer. Okay, Maria Angelica. And Allison. Okay. Inicia usted. Okay. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother my brother works in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How does he like it? Not very much. He he doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel? Does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works here too. Oh, that's inter interesting. 
What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Okay, thank you. Okay, interesting. Interesting and hotel. Hotel. Recuerden que en inglés sí pronunciamos la H como una J suave. Hotel, in a hotel. Okay, we can continue. Questions from the conversation? No question. No, okay. Then we have the grammar, okay, which are double H questions. Y okay, recuerden que ya habíamos visto la estructura, ¿verdad? De estas oraciones. Habíamos hecho algunos ejemplos y habíamos visto los significados de algunas double H words. Que okay, veamos. What double H words do you remember? Where? Where? Why? 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 What do you mean? Which? 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 Who? Who? Okay. What else? When? 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 Okay. When? Correct. Okay. Now, do you remember the structure? ¿Cómo era la estructura de las double edge questions? Mm. Ahí ya no se acorda. Eh, eh, but plus word uh -huh. verb plus Ooh. subject plus complement. Mm. No, esa es de una oración afirmativa. Or repeat, tal vez no escuché la primera parte. Repeat, please. Okay, creo que es eh, double questions. Bear eh, do um, auxiliary, uh -huh. oh, sorry, auxiliary. Um, en ese caso no sé si pues iría el verbo. Yes. No, the subject, the subject, the subject. Where okay. do subject plus complement. The subject que okay, the verb después del subject sería el verb. And then the complement. Okay. Look at the noun for a thing. Let me check. Mm. Ok, practicamos bastante las yes no questions, ¿verdad? Y dijimos que las double H questions eran bastante similares, con la única diferencia es que íbamos a agregar la double H word al inicio de nuestra pregunta. Entonces, como nos decía la compañera, double H word, luego vamos con el auxiliary, Luego iría el subject, then the verb, luego el verbo, and the complement. ¿Ok? Y solo dijimos que había una double H word que no necesitaba auxiliary. 
¿Cuál? ¿Se recuerdan cuál era? Maybe who? Yes, who. Who, uh, porque dijimos que iba como directamente relacionada con el, con el subject. Que who. Or, okay, now let's see, double H. Um, okay. Yes, María Angélica, sería double H word, luego en lugar del verb to be, ah, poder, vimos unas también con el verb to be, vimos un tipo. The double H word with, the, with verb to be, okay, subject. En este caso, no, no llevaría verbo en ing, no. Porque el verb, cuando hay, tenemos el verb to be en la oración, ese se convertiría en nuestro verbo principal, en complement, okay. Muy bien, let's do some examples of double H questions. Okay, give me examples, please. Double H questions. Ya habíamos hecho varios. Only where do you live in the world? Repeat. Where do, you, where do you live in the world? Okay. Why do you live to sleep late? Why do you sleep late? Okay. Good eat breakfast. What? Good eat Nepal. Repeat, please. Who is in the pool? Who? Okay. Who is in the pool? Okay. Where do you swim in the morning? Where do you swim in the morning? Okay, yes. Which is your favorite TV program? Um, what else? With where? Where does your sister live? Okay, you have to practice more this structure. Okay, eso lo tienen que manejar ya con un poquito más de facilidad porque ese es un review. Okay, yeah. Let's do the exercises here on the platform. Okay. Complete. Select the answer that contains the two words needed to complete each question. Okay, we have conversation one. What does your sister do? Okay, my sister, she's a nurse. Y luego continúa. Okay. Y vemos la respuesta. It's difficult, but she loves it. Which one is the answer? Where does, what, or how? How like. How like. 
how read the complete question how does she like it how does she like it okay how does she like it it's difficult but she loves it okay conversation two where does your brother work okay where does your brother work okay at the airport okay he's a pilot oh who who does he like it how does he like it how okay how does he like it he doesn't really like it conversation three who do your parents like their home okay where where do your parents like mm. where do your parents Miren la respuesta. Miren la respuesta. Yes. How do your parents like their home? Like their jobs. Okay. How do your parents like their job? Okay. ¿Le gusta a tu papá su trabajo? Esa sería la, la traducción. No, I guess they like them. Okay, next. I don't remember. Where do they work? Okay. Where do they work? In an office in the city. Conversation four. What do you do? What do you do? What, what do, do you do? do? Okay. What do you do? What do you do? I'm a student. I see. I see. How do you like your glasses? Okay. How do you like your glasses? They're good. I like them a lot. Okay, let's check. Click on submit. And excellent. They are correct. Okay. Then we have the placement adjectives. Let's check the manual. I think we can do this part. Okay, hagamos esa parte del manual to practice the double H word, the double H questions. Vamos a hacer preguntas. De las imágenes que tenemos acá, dice, ask questions about these people. Where do they work? What do they do? How do they like it? Okay, so we can practice. Okay, examples. Mm -hmm. Preguntas aquí de usando doble words y las imágenes que tenemos. What do they do? Yes. I am a doctor. Okay. What do you do? I am a doctor. Okay. What else? ¿Qué más podemos preguntar? How much is? How much? 
is el que How much is the um, short or how much are the shoes? Necesitamos poner hacer a qué nos referimos. How much is the shopping for the company? Okay, how much is the chocolate? Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, two more. Two more examples, please. Okay. Uh, who is the waiter? Who is the new waiter? Okay, yes. Excellent. One more. Who was what? It was the river for me. Who? Repeat the question, please. Who was what? Es que le escucho dos double H words. Only, only, you need only one. Mm -hmm. Vuelvo a hacer la, la pregunta. Who, what, what? Okay, ¿y qué quiere preguntar? ¿Qué quiere preguntar? ¿En español? ¿Cómo te fue en el trabajo? Ah, ¿cómo, cómo te va? ¿Cómo te fue? Sí. Ok, solo que eso sería en pasado y todavía no estamos, no, no me quiero meter todavía a, 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 explica, a, a explicarles en ese tiempo porque se van a, a confundir o se pueden confundir. Uh, pero, ¿cómo, ¿cómo te va? Sí, ok. Sería how. How, ¿Cómo? How are you doing at work? How do you do? Porque estamos in simple present. How do you do? At work. Okay. How do you do at work? Ahora sí. Okay. More examples? How do I have perto? How do I have perto? ¿Cómo tengo la presión? Ah, how do I have? Por ejemplo, si le vamos a preguntar, ah, si le vamos a preguntar al doctor, how do I have my low pressure? Ok, ok, excelente. Muy bien, vamos a dejar quizás unos, un ejemplo con cada double H word, porque siento que les está costando este tema un poquito. Ok, eh, where, how would you eat? How, how would you eat sería, sería, ¿cómo está la comida? ¿Cómo está la comida? ¿Sí? How is the food? How is the food? How is the food? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Gracias. Gracias. Muy bien. Vamos a dejar entonces one example for each double H word. 
me van a hacer una, una pregunta ejemplo de cada una de las palabras que sería what, where, who, when, why, and I think son six, where? entonces, which. where, which, seven, okay, how, how much, eight, how much, esa sí la vimos, how much, ok, serían ocho entonces, eight questions, una por cada doble word, ok, that's for tomorrow, homework for tomorrow, ok, that's it, that's all for today, remember to work on the platform, Recuerde trabajar porque ahora sí le van a revisar on Thursday morning. O sea que el miércoles usted ya tiene que haber terminado. Section 3 and middle term. Ok. So bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 bye.